Whoa! What's up, people? Today's question, why in the hell would you buy a Gotway Be Gold EX? Let's talk about it. Let's go. Now, first and foremost, I want to be clear. This is definitely not my official big guy review on the Bagode EX. This is just after riding it a few times, me trying to answer the question that I'm getting a lot. Why would I buy that? I want to help. I want to lend a little bit of what I have learned over the last couple rides with you. All right, I'm gonna take you on a ride. I'm gonna take you along with me on a ride on this wheel and give you some of the pros and cons, some ideas, some of which I'm sure you've already heard, just to give you my impressions and give you an idea in case you're still on the fence on whether you wanna get the Bigode EX. Number one, this is a fun wheel. I wanna put that out there right away, right up front. With all its pros and cons, this wheel is fun to ride. Now I know you might say that all wheels are fun to ride, and that would be true to an extent. When I say fun, I mean a whole lot of fun. More fun than your average wheel. There are many things that contribute to that, and I'll come back to that a little later. Number two, this is a smooth wheel. I didn't feel the Gotway growl, now the Bagode growl. The ride felt smooth like butter or silk. Number three, this wheel is powerful. The power of the 3500 watt motor is definitely apparent in the ride and feel on this wheel. You won't be lacking or wanting for power with this wheel under you. <laughs> Number four, this wheel is heavy. Because of the 85 pounds that this wheel is sporting, it makes it the second heaviest wheel on the market. For most things, like carrying it upstairs or lifting it into a trunk, this is a negative. However, for riding the wheel at higher speeds, it seems to be a positive in my opinion. The weight contributes to a smooth and stable ride. Number five, this wheel has pretty decent suspension. Although the suspension on this wheel is not the best in the bunch when it comes to the three suspension wheels on the market, I would still give it credit, however, for being the least intrusive. There's no real adjustment to be made on the suspension. I will have to mention how poor the design on the pump is though. It was very disappointing and continues to be a source of frustration with many EX owners. Number six, the pedals on this wheel are high. Although these pedals are not as high as the V11, they are high enough off the ground to give you the feeling of clearance and freedom that you don't experience on any other Bigod or Gotway wheel. Number seven, this wheel is expensive. At a whopping $3,500, this wheel will surely give you pause, or at least it'll give your wallet pause. Number eight, this wheel is battery hungry i can tell you that i was surprised how much this battery started to eat away or how much this motor started to eat away at this battery quicker than i thought i'm gonna have to redo a couple of tests that i was doing because i honestly right now was not getting the range i was expecting so i'm gonna make some adjustments see if it was me or if it really is what i'm thinking once again that's what I'll give you in my full review. Well, there is much more that I want to say, but I'm going to save that 
for my official big guy review. I just wanted to give you a little bit of what I've gotten in the past week or so riding this new machine. Out of everything I said, I just wanna make sure you're clear, this wheel is fun. I mean, fun, fun, fun. I truly enjoyed myself riding this wheel. Okay, that's it. I just got a short one today. I just wanted to give you a little bit more of my impressions, and I hope that some of what I've said today may have helped you if you're thinking, why in the hell would I buy a Gotway V Gold EX? If you are thinking that, I'm hoping some of these reasons can help you, and some of these reasons may make you say maybe not. I don't know if it's for you, but I know that right now I'm having fun, and I look forward to giving you my full review, at which time I'll give you whether I give it my stamp of approval or stamp of denial. I'll let you know how I'm feeling on the Bagode EX in my full review. Thanks again to Yuko for sending this wheel out for testing. I really appreciate it. As always, links are in the description box below, links to Yuko and much more. So please go ahead and check out that description box. Feel free to go ahead and hit one of those links. The affiliate links definitely help me out here. And if you like the video, you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I make new ones. Thank you again to my patrons. If you wanna join the team, feel free to go to patreon.com slash the black cobra and jump in on the fun if you wanna help support. I really would appreciate it. Until the next time, people, remember, gear up. And as always, ride hard and keep it real. Peace. And I'm out. Yeah.